Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for TransArts Transmetal 2 take on Cheetor. Just a reminder, this is only the transformation process. The review has been separately uploaded, and also I intend this to be a tutorial, so I hope it helps you out. Right, we're going to start off with the chest and where, of course, the alternate mode head is hidden away nicely. You can see it tucked in there. What you're then going to do is just apply a little pressure to the back. What that will do is it will lift this part up here. So then we're going to lift this out. And at the same time, what you're then going to do, if you bring this around, push the robot head down, that should push this part out a little more. So there you go. Now you can take the animal head, take it all the way out. If you see here, it's on this double hinge. Once you've got that out, rotate it 180 degrees, and then we will leave pretty much that there for now. Now we've tucked the head up underneath, which is fantastic. It's just gone too far. See how it's come right out the back? So what we need to do is push that down, and then we need to bring this over like so. So it's underneath, it's tucked inside there, and then this will close around it, and then this will just drop down as well. So that's how we're looking for that. Then you can see we've got these double hinges here. So take these arms, bring this hinge forward and tab that in. Take what is of course the shoulder joint, bring it down, rotate the elbow around 180 degrees. That's now the back. Same with the hands, they're now the paws. And to be honest, you can bend that back and that is one of the legs. So same principle on this side. There's your double hinge, bring it out, fold it over, click it in, rotate the shoulder in, rotate the elbow backwards, rotate the fist around, and pretty much same principle there. There are your front legs all done. Right, then you're gonna take the waist, rotate that a full 180 degrees. The tail is now at the back, so that's made that really obvious. And then all you're gonna do is just position these legs. So bend that down, push that down, bend that all the way back, bend the ankle down, and reposition the feet. Same on this side, so bend that down just a little. Push it down, bend that knee down, bend that ankle back and that foot like so. And then to be honest, you can just position however you want to, but there is his alternate mode. So if you want to take him back, obviously nice and simple, all you've got to do is just grab the legs, straighten these all the way back out to fold all the joints back over, etc. Same for this, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. Before you forget, rotate the waist 180 degrees, and that is, of course, the legs done. Turn your attention to the top half, take these shoulder joints, fold them over, clip them in on themselves. This, as you can see, can be the most, there we go, and only awkward. We'll do the rest in a minute, but there's the gap. It's gonna bring itself out, and it's going to fold itself in on there. Right, turn your attention, of course, to this. You're gonna lift, open up the head, open up the chest, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the head through there. There you go. That's going to come through and up. So we'll pull that up out of the way. But then what you need to do is rotate your animal head 180 degrees at this point there. Tuck it underneath like so. And then you can start to bring it all, if you can, aiming it through there. It sits under there nicely like so. And then what you've got is two giant tabs here which you can see there where we're now going to locate the chest. And that's just because the lion's head, or the cheetor's head, obviously, hasn't fully sat back inside there. There's the double hinge it's on, so just sit it back on there. Then you're going to turn it around, bring the arms, oh, bring the arms around, rotate the elbows 180 degrees, don't forget that. Same with the wrists, there's your arms. I'm going to sort the head out in a second, I just want to get this down so you can see everything else rotate that and lift that up turn your attention as i say back to the head lift that up close that over like so and if we go back far enough the tail's now got in the way but there he is back in his robot mode hope this helps out guys